Froggy's Baby Sister by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remikowitz. Froggy's Baby Sister. Froggy woke up. Is this the big day? He wondered. He hopped out of bed and flopped to the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Good morning, Froggy, said his mother. Wow, Mom, said Froggy. Your tummy is huge. Is the baby coming today? I hope so. She patted her belly and beamed. I want a big baby brother, said Froggy. Sisters are great too, said his mom. But Froggy wanted a brother. He daydreamed about him all day. I will teach him how to swim. I will teach him how to play soccer. Froggy, called his father. What? I'm taking Mom to the hospital. Max's mother will stay with you. And off they zoomed to in a taxi cab. Froggy felt like he'd swallowed dragonflies for lunch. Max's mother tried to read to him, but Froggy couldn't sit still. She tried to play catch with him, but he kept falling flat on his face. Oof! When will the baby come? He wondered. Finally, he dozed off under the kitchen table. Froggy! called his father. What? Come see the baby! Froggy jumped up and hit his head on the table. Bonk! Then he flopped to the baby's room. Flop, flop, flop. It's a girl, said Froggy's dad. A girl, cried Froggy. Yuck. Her name is Polly Wagalina, said Mom. But you can call her Polly for short. Wah! cried Polly. Maybe she's hungry, said Froggy. Let's make her burgers and flies. Soon, Polly was sitting on Mommy's lap, sucking on a bottle of cream of fly mush. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Let me feed her, said Froggy. I can take care of her all by myself. Not yet, said Froggy's mom. When her legs are all grown in and she loses her tail, then you can take care of her. Spring ended, summer came. Froggy wanted to teach Polly how to bounce on a pogo stick. Boing, boing, boing. But Polly was too little. He wanted to teach her to jump off a swing. But Polly was too little. You can't do anything, he said. And he flew off the swing and landed in a pond. Splash! One day, Frogalina came to see the baby. She's cute, said Frogalina. Hey, let's play mommy and daddy. No way, cried Froggy, and he flopped away. Flop, flop, flop. Summer was almost over. I'm tired of waiting, said Froggy. Polly's no fun. I'm going over to Max's and I'm never coming back. Froggy, called his mom. What? Wait. Mom unwrapped Polly's blanket. Legs? cried Froggy. And her tail's all gone. Yippee! Now I can take care of her. Yes, said Mom. Here's her diaper bag. As soon as Mom went inside, Polly began to cry. I know, said Froggy. You're hungry. So he sat her down by the pond and said, Watch me! And Froggy snagged three flies. Zap, zap, zap! Polly flicked out her tongue out, too, and caught her first fly. Zap! That's pretty good, said Froggy, for a girl. I know, said Froggy, and sniffed her diapers. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yikes, cried Froggy, holding his nose. Polly Wagalina, you stink! So he laid Polly down on her back and tore off her diaper. Rip! Then Froggy wrestled a new diaper on. Froggy! called his mom. What? Time to come in. Froggy flopped inside with Polly. Flop, flop, flop. Guess what, mom? said Froggy. I taught Polly how to catch flies. I put her diaper on all by myself. Froggy lifted Polly up and zloop, off fell the diaper. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. 
That night, Polly wouldn't go to sleep. She cried and cried. Froggy! Well, Polly. So Froggy flopped to Polly's cradle, flop, 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 and picked her up. She misses her big brother, said Froggy. Go to sleep, Polly Wagalina. And Polly went to sleep in Froggy's arms. Zzz.